My favorite lake is now open. Here at college, I'm fortunate to have access to a private lake only available to students. And out of all private lakes I've fished, this might be one of my favorites. Unfortunately for the winter time though, my college closes down boating at the lake, so I have to resort to bank fishing. However, it was during this time where I got an email from a former student telling me that six pounders used to be caught on the regular years ago. This was a shocker because for the longest time, we all thought the lake record was a 4.5 pounder. Now today is opening day where I'm finally able to get on a boat and chase after these fish that haven't seen any real pressure for the whole winter. If there's the best time to catch a new lake record, it's now. Oh, there's a fish. No, this is big, dude. It's huge. We're crashing, we're crashing. This is chaos. Oh yeah. The verse of the day comes from Kyle Matson. Proverbs 27, verse 17. It reads, iron sharpens iron and one man sharpens another. That is why it is so important to surround yourself with good people, especially your fishing buddies, right? I got Ian next to me. Dude, are you ready to finally go fish this lake again? Oh yeah, I'm ready. You wanna fish on the same canoe today? Of course. Let's do it. Got this life vest around my neck and it's choking me, but. <sighs> oh, all right. This feels weird to just like be on the water because for the past few months when I'm on this lake, I've always been bank fishing. I gotta take care of this. Okay, I went ahead and fashioned my life jacket to where it's at my waist. Technically, I still have it on. All right, Yintin update. My 14 foot aluminum John boat that is being turned into a bass boat by Matt Downs from Trick Tins. I will be officially picking it up on the 15th of April. As much fun as I have fishing off of these little canoes, I already missed my John boat. So thank you so much for your patience. The final reveal will blow y'all away. We have three hours officially to get it done today. And then this boathouse will close and then I have to go back and do some homework and studying. But until then, I'm gonna use my time wisely and do my best to locate where these bass are. So I'm gonna pull out my bass forecast tool on my phone. So today is a 3.6 fair day out of 10. It could be better, but Hey, this is a pretty nice lake regardless. We can set this on pre-spawn and it says Ned Rig, soft jerk bait, spy bait, lipless crankbait, jig, a ton of great options right there. But what I'm really interested in is the top producing locations. So over here, it says that the fish are migrating to the spawning routes, secondary points, transition banks, and lastly, flats near spawning areas. Now, Ian, we know where a flat is, so we'll go hit that in a second. This is an app that I've been using for probably half of a year now. It's a great planning tool and an amazing way to increase your chances of getting bit. Okay, here we go. Standing in a kayak. Super sketchy, but I mean, I think it's worth it. Let me see if I remember how to do this without flipping us over. Boom, perfect. I'm gonna grab my bait caster. We got on a Berkeley slobber knocker I got from ACM Tackle. Use code YINTIN to save yourself some money on premium tackle. We're fishing a couple drop-offs right now, so I think I'm gonna cast parallel to the bank. Oh yeah, almost got into a tree. How amazing would it be if I got bit on the first cast here? Water is surprisingly clear, so I'm a little bit worried about, whoa. Okay, okay, I just, ran into a log. As I was saying, water is super gin clear today. So I'm a little worried that the noise from this chatterbait is gonna scare the fish away. As you can see down there, I have my spinning rod with the good old trusty wacky rig tied on. That's our secret weapon if they don't want to bite anything else. You got one? Nope. Got a stick? That's what's up, Ian. God made sticks to keep fishermen humble, bro. We're gonna mount you all at a new location. Hope y'all don't fall into the water. I do not want to buy a new GoPro. You know, we actually have a fishing tournament coming up and Ian and I will be partners. So I think today's a really good day to kind of just work on our chemistry with our paddling. I hit push the other day in the gym. Mm, there's nothing better than just waking up and not feeling your chest. Water's so clear. And we got some boaters. Now I've let you guys in on a little secret of mine and that is what my favorite lake is. So you guys go ahead and comment. You don't have to say the name of the lake, but explain what it is that makes your favorite lake special to you. Is it because you caught your personal best there? Or was it the place you grew up fishing? Also, this can apply to ponds since a lot of you guys are probably pond hoppers just like me. This past weekend, I also got back from Tennessee. I went to the Bassmaster Classic and one of my favorite parts was actually just meeting a ton of y'all there. I told everybody to go ahead and hold up what their PB was. And then the hope is at the next Classic, when I meet you again, we're gonna go ahead and hold up even higher numbers. 
A little bit of additional history about this lake is that it used to actually be managed by the government. And then my college went ahead and bought it from them. And so that's why I think it's one of the better fishing waters in the area. Our other buddy Xavier had success on the spinnerbait. So Mega Bass SV3 time. Oh, no, I had one. Spinner right here. Yeah, no, he, he almost pulled the rod out of my hand. No, he took me into like all this mess right here. Wow, okay, catch one on a simple technique and then we'll be all ready. This bubblegum pink is a secret springtime staple. I would highly recommend you guys just try it. Guys at? Oh, I have a fish, dude. There he is. Yeah. Xavier. Xavier. Oh, we're doubled up. Let's go. Double. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, I got a good one too. Wow. Dude, the pink Senko. I'm telling you. All right, come on, buddy. Come on. Get in here. Oh. Yeah. Dude, we just caught it too. Let's go. Praise the Lord. That was so quick. One point. Seven six. All right, shall we let him go? See you, buddy. Thank you so much. Hey, go for a look. For those of y'all who do not know, Xavier is the president of the Matoka Bottom Feeders, which is the fishing club here on campus. Everything is tangled. This is amazing. Oh no, my rod's about to fall in the water. No, bro, I'm about to lose a combo today. <laughs> I feel like Moana right now. Ah. <sighs> Except the water's not on my side. We got a 1.7 pounder. Now we gotta level up to the two pounder range. Oh, goodbye spinner. I know you got bit earlier, but I'm really wanting to go with this tungsten two tap. This is what should trigger them big boys to eat. Whoa! <laughs> it's okay, sorry about that. Ugh. All right, Ian, throw up there. There he is. Oh, that's that's a nice one. Whoa, oh, oh. Thank the Lord. They are eating good today. Oh, that's even bigger than the first one. Oh, he's barely hooked. If he comes off, I'll be very sad. Get in here. Bro, look at that. Look at how chunky they are. He clobbered. That bait. They are all on the flats, dude. This is my favorite place to fish. Yeah, that's easily over two. 2.3 pounds. See you, buddy. Thank you so much for biting. One quick tip for you guys going out on the water this spring is the muddier the water, it typically is warmer than clear water there. Oh no, the wind is not being friendly to us right now. Oh, there's a fish. Yes? Yeah. Oh, nice. oh, get out of there. Get out of there. No, this is big, dude. It's huge. Here we go. Here we go. This is the three. This is the three we've been looking for. Ian, backpedal us. Backpedal us. We're crashing. We're crashing. This is chaos. No. Come on. Yeah, if you can grab him, grab him, grab him. Yeah, get him in, get him in. There we go. Oh, that's a fat one. You've got to be kidding me. Two, 2.7 pounds. Biggest disaster. So 3, 0.3 pounds off from being a three. Almost three pounder. Goodbye, buddy. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. When in doubt, you can always just... Weightless pink worm it out. Oh, that's how you lose your paddle. I use the paddle to grab the paddle. Here we go. Thank you. Anybody who looks at us without any context would be like, what is going on over there? There's a dude in a yellow tutu. A one, a two, and an almost three. What's coming up next is a four pounder. 
The bike kind of slowed down, so we went ahead and started paddling upstream back to the clear water. Ooh, time flies by quick when you're having fun. Boats are now docked. Gotta get my stuff. But Ian, my brother, we did it. We did it. We broke it in for this spring, but hey, you still gotta get on a fish. Next video, you'll see him catch a 25 pounder. Thank <laughs> you.